Welcome back here on The Morning Brew. And uh, we are going to be speaking to the gentleman who gave us the board game, Not a Real Place. This time, he is encouraging us to buy scrap iron and old battery that's the name of his new game uh buy and scrap iron uh old battery buy-in uh christopher naranjit is on the show with us this morning good morning to you christopher naranjit good morning hello everybody mm. uh, maybe i should maybe i should say it like this um buy and scrap iron old battery buy-in buy and scrap iron old battery buy-in neighbor neighbor is that is that what you were thinking when you were doing this or did i do it all wrong so so um <laughs> the exact tune that i was going with was buying scrap iron old battery buying ah okay all right <laughs> how did you how did you come up with this with this idea to go to go with uh -huh. this topic for a board game so i have a a, a ton of board game ideas that i put down and I heard the buying scrap iron, old battery buying song of our people playing one day, and I love it. I, I love that it became such an internet phenomenon, and I was like, I need to turn this into a game. It was literally from the name I moved forward. And yeah, yeah. I just wanted to pick something that I thought was very Trinbago, or at least Trinidad. I never heard it in Tobago myself. Um, and just celebrate it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell us about the game, how the game actually works. So in the game, um, there's a story that is not relevant to the gameplay. You don't have to look at the story. But it's about six friends who were friends since primary school and they just got their HTC house, houses, six houses. And they're competing to see who went to get to host the Lime to celebrate. So they compete in our and they say whoever gets to deck out their living room first is gonna be the one who gets to host the line. So to do that, they have to go make money and they make money by buying scrap iron, old battery buying. Mm -hmm. So during the game, there are a bunch of scrap cards and um, let me see if I can get some of these for you. And these cards are going to be worth points. So here you can see like I have a screw and it's worth one point. During the game, they'll have other cards with other amounts of points. Let me get the lights in right there. Mm -hmm. So there are also cards, cards, though. There are also cards, though, where you can lose points because I'm I'm seeing a yeah. card here. Uh, this one, it's worth minus two points. Right. So there are some cards with no metal in them, and they would negative points. Mm -hmm. So why would a scrap iron dealer deal with it? Well, remember the objective of the game is to deck out your living room. So these cards, which would be worth no money to them trading, could make their living room look nice. Mm -hmm. So they could choose to take a risk and get these negative points cards. And if they get all five, they win. Other than that, you're going to be collecting scrap cards, and whoever gets the most points is going to be the winner at the end of the game. Okay. Um, and, of course, you make it very, very challenging because uh, you have all these things that they can do and that they cannot do. Um, uh, 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 is this a game that you absolutely have to play in person? Or can you have a virtual session where everybody's on their computer in different locations and you just have to trust that nobody's cheating? <laughs> So I've been very lucky not to come across a lot of cheating because I designed the games to not be as fun when you cheat. Oh, okay. Um, and I have had online sessions, but it requires each person to have a copy because you would need access to your deck. One of the people in the online session will have to decide to flip these scrap cards and then everybody else can flip their cards. And you just do that online and it, it goes pretty smoothly once you have an okay connection. So yeah, you can play virtually as well, especially right now when we're looking for things that we can do virtually. Okay. Um, however, that wasn't my intention in the game. My intention for the game was to give something to families that feel like they're stuck with each other and they need something fun and new to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. In terms of in terms of your first game, not a real place. That was a sensation. Um, uh, you know, do you still get you know feedback from that? Do you still get orders for it? Are people still saying you know Are you coming out with another v version of not a real place and and that kind of thing? 
I still get a lot of attention for Not A Real Place. Um, I remember we, we did our interview here with Not A Real Place and unfortunately, not unfortunately, the game was too successful for my expectations. So it sold out before I got to your interview. Um, so uh, I get a lot of calls and I have to disappoint a lot of people because I haven't been able to do a reprint. Some of the places where I got components made don't exist anymore. So I have to come up with a new production design which hopefully buying scrap iron or battery buying will help me fund. Mm -hmm. okay. So we could look forward to some more NARP or not a real place in the future. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let's look at um, buying uh, scrap iron, old battery buying. Um, what sort of, uh, you know, pickup are you getting um, for this new game um, that you've put out? What are people saying about it? I mean, the, the, the title alone is, you know, it's going to grab your interest. Yes, yes. So I, um, I know that in Trinidad, especially the board gaming hobby is, is looked at as something for children mostly. I, I tend to focus on adults and allow children, like make it so children can play. Uh, so people are often surprised that they have as much fun. They take it up, it's like, okay, this is a board game, let me see what we will do. And then they play it and they play it again and they play it again. Um, my close friend, um, he got his copy the other day and um, he played it for a birthday party and the birthday party uh was supposed to end at a certain time and then it went like two hours later and the cool thing about it is that uh it's hard to have a birthday party with like three and four people and have fun but this game makes it easy mm -hmm. I, I, i'm just i'm just thinking that this is a family building tool right so ideally people should still love each other by the time they finish the game and not want to, you know, like uh, rip each other's throats out because one person is too skillful, you know, than everybody else, right? <laughs> so I would love, love, love to do an entire interview just on that phenomenon because it is something that I studied in game theory and game design and um, Monopoly being the main uh, culprit of, you know, upsetting people. I work it into my design that you feel connected to your victory or your loss and therefore it's hard for you to blame people this game is fast this game finishes in 10 minutes or less when you know how to play it so by the time you lose you could win the next round also i installed a little bit of luck which means that even if you're playing with somebody very very skillful you can still win and that's important when you're making a family game because you don't want to make a game where the parents will always win or where the parents feel like they have to downplay their turn to let the children win this is a game your kids can win they pay a little bit of attention and they could win it mm -hmm. Okay, folks, if you want to find out more about buying scrap iron, old battery buying by uh, Christopher Naranjit, why don't you do a search on Facebook for Not A Real Place, the board game, and you're going to get all the latest details there about both games, uh, but particularly this new one, buying scrap iron, old iron buying. And uh, can they call you or uh, on, on the number yes, that they you get? They can call me directly. Also on Facebook, you can search by and scrap iron or battery buying directly, and it has a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. uh, most of my orders so far have been via WhatsApp. And because of the situation, I'm going to see how much I can do to really help you get this game. Um, if it's close by uh, and you agree to wear a mask and everything, I could come and just drop the game at your gate and leave. I have to check and see if that's something I'm allowed to do, but it's something I'd like to do to get these games in people's hands right now where it's really tough staying at home. Yeah, you know? they're on lockdown and they need to still love each other. Hopefully yeah. the game will help that. <laughs> Christopher, yeah. it was great chatting with you this morning, and thank you so much. I'm looking forward to seeing what else you're going to come up with, because you did say that you have, a, a, you know, a book this thick with uh, board game ideas, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Looking forward to seeing what else you're coming up with, and here's hoping that this one is a great success too. Thank you very much. Okay, that is uh, Christopher Naranjit, the creator of uh, TNT Not A Real Place and this latest board game from him, Buying Scrap Iron, Old Battery Buy-In. Keep it here on The Morning Brew because we've got some more information to share with you. Don't go far.